I'm completely forgetting what the name of my book is. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Very interesting that I forgot that name because the title was a huge, huge problem for me. I had many, many titles for this book. Uh, the first one was Ten Measures of Beauty. I called it Lily Azaroff. But eventually we came up with The Imposter Bride just because it says so much about what the book actually is. In a small room off a banquet hall in Montreal, Lily Kramer sat in silence with her new husband. It was summer and the room was hot. There were no windows and no door only a curtain beyond which the guests, almost none of whom she knew, washed down sponge cake and herring with shots of schnapps and vodka. Lily and her husband sat on either end of the couch on which she assumed they were meant to consummate their marriage. The first sentence for me is really important for setting the tone of the book. Writing is all about voice, and until I find the voice that's going to bring the story out, I have nothing. And the first sentence establishes the voice of the novel. And in this novel, the first person voice is a woman my own generation, and her voice eluded me for years, and that was part of what took so long to write the novel. I don't wait for inspiration. I sit down and I write, and the inspiration comes from writing itself. It's, it's never there in my head before I start to write. It's wonderful work. It's, I just, there's nothing I love more. And people go on about how hard it is. Everything's hard. I mean, that's why the work, you know, the word work, it's not pleasure, it's work. Work is hard by definition, but it's wonderful hard. I, struggling with the sentences, redoing them, getting it exactly right. I, I think it's wonderful work and I'm my happiest when I'm writing. I love it. I always, I'm up walking. I, I love the outdoors, that's why I was so happy in Vancouver. And, and I read, and you know, I'm not like the most fun person. I have sort of, I'm a, I'm a true introvert, so I, my pleasures are internal and quiet. I, you know, I wish I could say something more exciting, but I'm, I, you know, I'm not that exciting. <laughs> okay. Any time that I've actually ventured into new territory, I'm happy. I just a little bit resistant to it, but just last night one of my very lovely nieces started a Facebook page for me on my behalf that she's doing because I'm not on Facebook and um, a good friend immediately said welcome to the 21st century and my niece answered on my behalf and said not so fast, she's not even on Facebook yet. No, <laughs> I do not Twitter, but you know, I may ask me when my next book comes out in 25 years, maybe I'll be Twittering then. <laughs>